In this video, we're going to um, import our first data set into SAS. Uh, there are two ways of getting data into SAS. The, the first is direct input, which is what we're going to do in this video. In another video, we'll look how to import uh, data from external sources, such as um, Excel files or CSV files. But uh, what we're going to do now is direct input. Now, this is more uh, for completeness, because when you're dealing with huge data sets, you, you never will enter them in one by one. But we'll, we'll see how we, we can do that. And also, what we're going to do is write our first, um, our first little program. So let's just remind ourselves what we have. And if we go to our Explorer window, double click on the libraries, we see that we have our library MAT008, which is where we're going to try and, and work. So let me just go back there. So I bring up the program editor and I can start writing in code. So I type data and that tells SAS, okay, we're going to do what's called a data step. And the first thing SAS wants to know is where uh, the data file I'm about to create will go. So it'll go in the MAT008 library and we separate the library from the, the data file name with a full stop. So dot, and I'm just gonna call this data set first data set all um all fall by underscores and then we have to have a semicolon so press enter to go to the next line and immediately note that sas the program editor recognized the word data as a keyword and uh, colored it blue so generally in sas blue is good then um what we need to write is the word input which is again saying right we're going to directly input the data into sas and what's about to follow is the name of my variables so the first variable i'm going to call it name and the second variable, I'm going to call it age. And then we have a semicolon. Now, the variable name, I'm going to uh, have strings. In other words, um, sentences, not, not numerical values. And so I need to tell SAS to expect that. And if I just delete all this, uh, I need to put in the dollar sign. So it's name, dollar, and age. Because name is going to be a string. Uh, finish that with a semicolon. And again, input has been colored and the dollar sign has been colored. So those have been recognized by SAS. Then I use the cards statement, which is again um, a, uh, a keyword in SAS, which is simply telling it, right, get ready, the data is about to turn up. Semicolon, enter, and I'm going to have Bob, is going to be the, um, the name of my first entry, and he's going to be 23, year old, 23 years old. The second entry is going to be named Billy, and why not have him 24? And then I leave a space and I include the semicolon. So this is just particular to direct input. We have to have them um, one set of data per, per row, and that'll read them all in according to the, the previous thing. So then we have a semicolon to, to say that's it, that's all of the data. And then we need a run and a semicolon. And run and semicolon is simply the, um, the way of telling SAS, yep, that's the end of this data um, step. So now, I highlight all that. I'm just go to add, edit, select all. You can highlight it uh, any way you want. And I'm going to simply press the running man, which is submit. I could run this in different ways. On Windows, you can press F8. I'm going to press, uh, click on the running man. So, what we see first of all is in the log something has happened. All right. So let me make that a little bit bigger for us to see. Um, if I scroll up slightly, this was just. SAS starting up, so that was uh, previously, yeah, that's not, nothing to do with this, but now we have the log relevant to the program we just run. So it's reading in the lines, and it's just outputting them and saying note. Um, the data set MAT08.first data set has two observations. Note, data statement used, how much time, but more importantly, it's all blue or black, there's, there's no errors. So if we open up our library, so go to MAT008, we see that we have a first data set. If I double click on that, I go into browser mode, um, where we see Bob, age 23, and Billy, age 24. And that is how to input um, data directly into SAS.